All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, back with another video uh, about the charger and about uh, how much I paid for the charger. So uh, uh, do keep in mind, this was back in, uh, I got the car back in 2017. Oh, it's a nice wide body, okay. So just keep in mind, as far as like numbers wise, I mean, obviously things have changed, but uh, when I got the car back in 2017, 2015 Dodge Charger RT Premium, uh, it had 32,000 miles on it, it was coming off lease. Uh, leathered up, air conditioned seats, heated seats, reverse camera, 8.4U connect, HID headlights. I mean, it was fully loaded. Loaded up, beats by Dre's just a minute. Car was 27.9. Uh, going into the dealership, no money down. Uh, I did get an extended warranty on it. And we're talking credit, tier one, 720. Uh, the payments were just under 500 walking out the door before the extended warranty. With the extended warranty, it was $515 a month. Um, and working at a dealership, I used to see this a lot where people would say, hey, I want a car payment $300 a month. Um, but you just, you do simple math and you know, five years, 30,000, that's $500 a month. So with everything, the car ended up being like 32,000 and uh, 32,000 some change. My payments were 515 a month. Um, and it was over, uh, over six years so you know that's definitely something to think about when you're when you're trying to get one of these cars you know they're not they're not cheap you know for your average everyday working person um you know they're not cheap so keep that in mind but it can be done i mean i, I walked in no money down walked out with the car i mean had i would have put a few thousand dollars down my payments would be even cheaper uh, so you know if you're looking for a car that's going to be in that range uh, in that like high 20s low 30s range you know that's where you can expect to be and I know people even looking at the scats, even though now prices of RTs are, are going for like what the scats are going. But uh, but that's what I paid for the car. So I'm sure that nowadays, I'm sure you can find one that's less equipped. Um, I don't really even see that many Charger RT premiums around fully loaded uh, like mine, but I'm sure you can get one that's less equipped for a little bit less money. Uh, but the more you put down, the less the payment's gonna be, the better your credit is. And this is also with a, um, a 4.9 interest rate so the interest rates at the time weren't the best on uh, on used cars. I did get the car pre-owned. Uh, so that's another thing to think about. You wanna make sure that your credit's right. But uh, but that's about the ballpark. And I would say most people that aren't leasing their charges are probably somewhere in that realm um, if they didn't put a whole bunch of money down. So uh, if you got a charger, let me know what your payments are. Uh, let me know, did I pay too much for the car? Was it, was it too crazy? Uh, I don't think it was that bad at the time. So get in the comment box. Definitely like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.